Today, um, we're just going to be coding up a little bit. I'll show you the end product, the things I'm coding, and then I actually have to shovel snow outside because we got like 12 or 13 inches of snow. So we will have a very interesting conversation about a couple of things. But for now, just know that we are building out the UI. And also, I will actually show you the things that I've done. Like, I, I was able to build a way for companies to upload their jobs to the site. So, like, if you're, like, Google or something, like you just saw, you can, like, put in everything, the user information that you want, like, requirements, stuff like that, and then upload it, and it will be displayed in the database. So, very exciting things. You know, we've been on user authentication for a very long time now, and it's just been a bit annoying. But uh, for now, uh, I'll, I'll stop talking about user authentication, even even if I switch something or switch a data, like database for that. Um, but yeah, looking good, super exciting. And yeah, let's just get into coding. By the way, Christmas tree is making me a little bit red. And I was not going to show anything in real life, but... Um, counter to what I thought you want to see me code so here I am coding I'm trying to solve a problem so I can show you in real time uh, what it's like to actually do that so what we're doing here is basically right for the job section um, let's say you are again I don't know think of anything Microsoft Microsoft and you want a new CEO right Location, where, where are they? I don't really know. Let's just say Canada for the fun of it. Let's just say $2, right? Job description, new CEO, whatever. And second grade reading level. I'm writing like a second grader. All right, so look, okay? When we submit the job, okay? Look what's happening. Over here like that. So once we submit it, Oh, it did not display here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all that's happening is we took this data from here. So we put all the inputs in here. So see, this is the input for the company name right here. This is the for the job title, right? And we connected it to the value in here. And what's important about the insert is that we're inserting the data that's in here into the form of job listings which is in superbase the table which is job listings which is right here okay as you can see if i open up my screen it's right here right over here that's what we did for the jobs for companies to display their data and all i did to display it in uh, the main page, which is here, which as you can see at the bottom, if I move my big head, is the CEO of Microsoft Canada. And that's all we have thus far. And if we go towards the main page, you can see down here, if we go to jobs, we just select the data. Okay. And we just displayed it here. So like the job ID, the job company name. So just all of the data that we initially got for the inputs, we just basically just put into here. Now, what we need to do now is do that for the resume. I want the user's resume to be stored within a, a, like a folder so that he or she could have access to it here all the time. So the main... The main idea is the same thing as um, the jobs and the same thing as what companies are going to do. But I want it to be stored in a sort of different way. But for now, uh, I just want it to be stored in a database like this in, in resumes in here. I want it to be stored in here so that the uh, user can access his data eventually all right so let's just get into it i'm going to be using chat gbt a lot and also i found this company it's called we love devs they they're over in france and they're doing something very similar to what we're doing um i'm not obviously i'm not going to copy them but you know i'm going to take some ideas because that's how competition works and yeah so we're going to do that right now and yeah let's, let's just get right into it just a little bit of coffee 
Okay, so first things first, right? Um, I need. Right, I'm gonna put this in. I know that I have to put it somewhere in the SQL editor, right? Create table, job listings. Yeah, this was it. Create table, resumes. If I run this, will it be fine? Job listing. Right, right, right. I have to remove, remove job listings because I already have it. So I'm just going to do this and then see if this is correct. Like this. ChatGPT is such a powerful tool. I mean, just insane. And uh, I freaking love it. I'm actually going to change the color right now. I don't like the way I look. <laughs> Wait, just a second. I'm too, uh, I'm too red, you know? I already connected it, buddy. Because now, right, I have the data in here, the, uh, the, the resume, so it should be in here, right? We're all about debugging in here, so we'll see what's going on. We'll see how to solve it, and uh, we'll go from there. It's no problem. Because what we're trying to do is basically like list job. We're taking the data that they input in, in this area, job listings, and then we're just posting it. I mean, I may have to update the Superbase, uh, where is the data? Lib maybe? It's like a, yeah, right here. So I may have to fix this up. You may be saying like I'm using too much chat GPT. I understand what's going on, okay? And I'm just getting, I'm, I'm gonna Google it anyway, so I might as well get a specific answer here and then tailor it to what I'm about to do. Like I, I didn't copy anything here. So don't, other than like the table, but I totally understand where it's, it's like coming from, you know? Um, but other than that, like right now, I'm just trying to see what recommendations it gives me. Honestly, just like dealing with data, like. I just need to update this. So it's going to give me the resumes row to insert and update stuff. Um, so, you know, we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. We actually may have an issue storing the file, but I think, I, th I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Okay. So we're inserting full name. Yeah. Okay. We're cool. I'm just going to, yeah, I'll just, just copy this foreign columns. Is one false users ID user? Okay, it's basically the same thing. Update. I mean, I did it here, so I I know what I need to do, but I just don't get, like, why? Oh, maybe that was it. Okay, so what I was doing then was I wasn't. I wasn't putting in, everything that the database needed, to be put. Right. Like in here. Location experience. I'm gonna update this to the resume. See what what's what happens if I do that. Let's see. Resume. And I'm gonna restart this because I feel like I don't know, I just feel like I'm missing something. I really don't see the freaking mistake here. <laughs> It has to be in the way we're storing it then. It just has to be in the way we're storing it. Because we got everything here. Okay, so there's a 400 bad request. All right, so some good and some bad news. Firstly, we have the UI pretty good. Uh, and the other issue is I wasn't able to update the info in Superbase. And you know, YouTubers will show you all the successes and all their like their their wins and I that's exactly what I don't want in this series. Right now I spent 4 hours or sorry 2 2 hours and a bit so I started at let's say 7 o'clock prior to recording with y'all and now I'm at you know it's 9 a.m. 
and I still wasn't able to update the table editor. So as y'all could see, um, it's info. So the form is the info right here. Yet, for some reason, it's not updating. And I don't know why. <clears throat> but again, guys, it's okay. It's it's totally freaking fine. I'm going to make myself... It's totally fine for this to happen. Every developer is supposed to go through this. Am I happy? Do I want to put out that I wasn't able to finish this piece of code in my time right now of course not it's a bit embarrassing you know i make youtube videos about me programming and doing stuff and building apps but you also have to realize right that this is a part of the process and i'm glad to accept that i wasn't able and that i failed today i mean i didn't even fail i did a lot of work with the ui and being able to upload uh, data to let's say the job listings where we have some data over here. So I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm fine with that. But I just want you to realize, um, I just want you to realize that this is fine, okay? It's fine to fail. It's fine to not be able to accomplish something right away. And you just have to accept that, okay? Guide yourself through the process. Right now, you know, I'm going to turn off my computer. I'm going to go do something else and in some way, shape or form throughout this day, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to solve this problem. Coding is all about that. That's where coding is loved. It's in the process of solving problems. And when we solve this problem of uploading user data to uh, Superbase, we will be happier than ever. Okay. Damn, I forgot to put sweetener in my coffee. Oh my God. But I don't want to be motivational and all. just accept it okay we got a lot of work done a lot of good work done today you know i i feel like this site just looks a lot more professional but it's fine we're not perfect we're, we're not gonna be perfect and that's fine that is okay right now uh what i'm doing to combat this is i'm gonna I'm going to go shovel some snow. I'll actually record and talk to you guys about stuff going on with my life, with uh, with the coding and everything like that in depth. Um, but I just wanted to make this quick segment after coding just to say that it's fine to not finish your code in a single day. OK, right now, again, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back tomorrow and we'll be good. OK, so it's fine. All right. So, yeah, thanks for watching this segment. Um, I'm going to close up right now and I'll see you with the shoveling. All right. Yo, OK. We're in the car. We're going to the supermarket. Now, I'm too shy to show you what I'm going to do in the supermarket because I'm not a, I'm not about to freaking record in there. That, that makes me pretty uncomfortable. And I just feel like if I'm in public, I'm like bothering some people. So we're not, we're not going to do that. However, um, man, dude, this literally my car getting stuck. Car get I don't even know what's going on here. Holy shit, man. It's really bad out right now. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. I, I can't keep my phone up like this. Holy shit, man. I am going to have to figure out some creative way because it's getting quite annoying. Nonetheless, um, look, man, I'm going to try to keep my thing like up. And I'm going to try to talk and not look too much at y'all because uh, I don't want to be distracted. So we'll see how things look. Um... Thus far, though, uh, the application seems to be doing okay. As I talked about, hold on. As as I talked about earlier, um, failure is a normal part of the process. I'm okay with not being able to accomplish something within the first try. I know eventually I'm gonna get it, which is a good feeling. 
I've done it countless times, you know, and that's in business and in life. If you're not willing to, to lose and you're not willing to face those times when you're losing, then how are you going to accomplish shit in your life, right? So we ran into that small issue. And that's the issue with kids today. Like, I'm still a kid. I'm like 22. I just turned 22. Boy, it's a, it's a sad thing when you can't... It, when you when you just can't take a loss and when you can't take a loss you, you can't compete because if you want to get into the you know play the game you have to be willing to embarrass yourself and lose at a high level um but now you know shit's fine uh, i'll be back tomorrow trying different shit out i, I do have a question for y'all that are still watching i don't know how many of you are should I make this project open source? It's a serious question. I, I don't know whether I should or not. Some of you have contacted me to contribute to the project, and I'm totally for it. But the dilemma I'm in right now is, should I make it open sourced and not be able to make it a profitable startup? Or make it private and you know build the business because i can do both i don't mind making it open sourced and making it like a community based thing that will eventually i don't know if it could make money if it was open source because of like the dilemma there or make it private still show you the code but then be able to make the business and build the business on top of the code because I, I don't want to take money if, if it's open source. I feel bad. So it's that weird dilemma. But, you know, at the same time, um, I'll think about it. Now, we're driving. And, um, you know, other than that, the code looks pretty good. Pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with how things are going. We, we were off to a sl slow start. You know, the first six days, they were a bit slow, a lot of user authentication issues with that. And it, it just, fuck, man. Oh, my God. It was just a lot of user authentication stuff and back-end work. And I, I, I wasn't too happy with how things were going. But now, as you saw, we were adding some functionalities to the site, like being able to create jobs and trying to build out resumes. So exciting, happy things looking good other things we've got to look forward to are further issues down the line with authentication as i said we may have to switch types of authentication creating things and just building uh on top of that but yeah man happy with everything thank god running into these issues now so that we train our minds to get better later and just taking breaks and allowing ourselves to fail and just enjoying the time. Boy, the winter out here is so bad. Hey, but at least, you know, you can stay at home and code and kind of have that excuse to stay at home more. I already stay at home a lot and just go from there. Thankfully, though, uh, all okay, all good. And now growing grocery shopping. Uh, and I I'll, might I'll make a video after this, like as I reach here, or like after this. But if I end it here just know that you know we're building shit and we finally added the functionalities you know super exciting things like the job creation and stuff like that and fyi this is not going to be the final product of course uh, it's going to come up with time and uh, as i said earlier i don't want to be like a broken record but this shit does take time and the thing like it looks better now than it did yesterday but it's going to look better tomorrow than it does today. So just understand that this is a work in progress. We're adding things slowly. We're going to update things. Things are not going to stay the same. It's just that we're working on a bunch of things at a time. Like we're not only making a programming. Uh, it's not just a programming series. We're building a business on top of that. So just understand that. And I hope you can just bear with me. You know, I'm trying to show you the failures, the successes, the things we're building, the business side just you know just to clarify things and that's how it's gonna be 
you know it's gonna be slow it's gonna take time and, and it's just gonna build it's like our baby you know it's kind of like a, a baby we're trying to um to tr not train that's such a bad word like to civilize right it just takes time you know you have to tell it to stop eating all the chocolates more than once you know because it's gonna do it more than once and like the baby the business we have to train it we have to slowly build it and then eventually right we build that thing to be a functioning business but i have arrived to my destination we are going grocery shopping and uh, it, again i probably got into here i just realized because i've just talked i think i've talked about enough things and uh, with the video it's longer than usual so i'm gonna end it here but anyways thank you so much for watching again if you have any recommendations for the series i would absolutely love any of your recommendations as you know we're just trying to make the series better and if you have any recommendations with open source or startup uh private then also let me know okay but yeah thank you so much i love y'all thank you again for a thousand subscribers i have the best community in the world we're self-taught and we have to be there for each other and the startup is like i want this to be just such a together thing right i don't want it to be for profit i don't want it to be just for money and i've talked about this earlier but although you know it'll be good to make money the whole point is just to document and show you the struggles the failures the successes the benefits and just the journey of a startup you know i've had businesses in the past that haven't gone well but now i actually want to document the successes as well as the failures because i i know that a lot of people are interested in that and along the way, we can build a community doing so. But yeah, open source or private, let me know. There's benefits to both. Um, either way, I kind of want to make it a money-making site. But yeah, okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then there's the whole playlist of the startup series in my uh, channel bio. Or like the channel playlist area. I'll try to leave it at the end of this video just so you can like see it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video.